Hello, my name's David and this is Patch Memory. Uh, this is the first one, which is why I've got my house done up like this. My house doesn't normally look like this. You might think it does, doesn't. Um, <laughs> so Patch Memory, this one actually is the memory of a patch. So I'm gonna try and recreate a patch that I made during the first lockdown of 2020. Do you remember there was a pandemic? Apparently there's, there's no pandemic now. It's just a load of other crazy stuff going on. There used to be a pandemic and when I was locked inside my house in Brighton, I was messing around with my modular all the time and I made this insane patch, which is with the E370 by Synthesis Technology. And I thought it would be a good idea to celebrate Synthesis Technology and the E370 in memory of Paul Schreiber, who's, who sadly passed away relatively recently and who made this incredible module. It's probably my favorite module in my whole system and it's definitely the most expensive, this crazy thing that I bought on a whim at one point. Um, I think everybody who knows about Paul Schreiber probably knows him best from, you know, he invented this Z-plane morphing from Wavetable Morphing, uh, which he brought in the E350. The E370 is like four E350s in one, plus uh, the swarming cloud stuff from the cloud terrarium, whatever it was called. It's an amazing module. And I built this patch, which is just like this crazy FM cross modulation thing. So I thought, well, you know, you always lose stuff when you're doing modular, don't you? And wouldn't it be nice if I could recreate that and try and Pres you know, preserve it somehow. Maybe share it with other people. And, you know, might be nice for you to see how I made it. See if I can do it again. So let's have a look. I've got some things set up already. Just coming out of this mixer into this reverb. I think I might reuse reverb. Might not. Not sure. And the uh, reverb going to the outs here. Here's the E three seventy. One, two, three, four oscillators. As I said. Um. All of the controls are replicated on each oscillator. Here are all of the um, ins and outs and whatnot. I've got uh, two double VCAs, the two HP ones, they're very handy. What I'll be doing is using these to modulate a load of cross modulation via the VCAs, FM, all of that stuff, going into the, um, the mixer, coming through the reverb, which I'll use at times, I won't at other times, and out we go. And the pans is going to clock everything. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these four outs from this ornament of crime and put them into the VCAs. Let's do it. So one to one, two, 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 three, two, three, four, two, four. So they'll just be CVing the amplitude of the outputs of the of the oscillator. Now the outputs of these VCAs will be going into the, the mixer here, but they'll also be going into FM inputs of different oscillators. So say this is oscillator one, which it will be, I'm going to put that into oscillator two's FM input. This will be two, that can go into FM three. Three can go to FM four. You get the idea, don't you? Four can go into FM one. What a lovely mess already. This is the way it's going to be, I'm afraid. The next thing I'm going to do, just whilst I'm at it, is I'm going to get these outs going into the appropriate VCA. So oscillator one, VCA one, oscillator two, VCA two, oscillator three, VCA three, oscillator four, VCA four. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the outs of these VCAs into the mixer. The output of VCA one, put it into the left hand channel of the first output. But I think I'm going to do the output of oscillator three, the VCA three going into the right channel of the first channel on the mixer. VCA two into left of channel two of the mixer and four into channel into the right channel. Still can't hear anything, by the way, because the envelope generator, this ornament and crime is set up in envelope generation mode. Uh, that's not being triggered, so maybe we'll set that up now. And then you can start hearing stuff. So let's put one into here. Let's put two into here. If I start this, I'm pretty sure we'll get some noise.
let's just turn that down for a bit. What I'm going to do next is I am going to get some modulation of the wavetables on the go. Because all of these, I didn't tell you that, all of these oscillators are set up in wavetable modes. Some of them are using the same wavetable, some of them are using different ones. And you can modulate the position that you're listening to in that wavetable uh, through the CV inputs. So we'll go from the modulation source from uh, VCA1, put that into the X CV input of oscillator 2. 2, can go to X of 3, 3, can go to X of 4, 4, can go to X of 1. Look at this, not. Let's continue. 2 can go to the Y of 3. How about that? 3 can go to the Y of 4. 4 can go to the Y of 1. 1 can go to the Y of 2. Yeah, things are beginning to kind of change a little bit more. Let's turn it up a bit just for a sec. Now the next thing we're going to do is pitch because we haven't done any pitch stuff yet. I'm going to take the modulation from one again, the the um, the amplitude modulation of one. I'm going to put that into full proctive of oscillator three. Stack cables galore. They're so useful for this stuff. Four into one. We have got another ornament and crime here, which I've got set up in analog shift register mode. Obviously, it's not analog, this is a digital module, but it emulates an analog shift register. And we're going to use for the inputs of those random sources, random step sources from Pamela's workout here. So that will be one and two. One of them is just going to feed the analog shift register and the other one's going to do CV the index, I think it is. What we need to do as well is clock that. So we'll do that. Um, I think this has quite, got quite a high index on it, so it's going to take a while before it does anything. But we're going to use these four modulation sources uh, to control the other two fault proactive inputs of the E370. And we're also going to modulate some other stuff on the, on the other ornament and crime, I think. Let us get one into fault proactive two, two, into Volt Proctiv 4, and this one into here, why not? Let's get this one into here. These are the CV inputs of this uh, first ornament and crime. Hmm. Let's go from this one into one, and let's go from this one into three. Let's have a listen, eh? without reverb for a minute. I just changed the voltage output range on this ornament at crime and actually we get some nice <coughs> we get some nicer percussive noises here. I 
to get sat down Cafe Otto with this, couldn't I? It sounds amazing. Now, of course, not everybody will have an E three seventy. You know, it's a it's a ridiculously expensive thing that I just am blessed to have. I don't know how I managed to afford it, to be honest. But you can do similar things if you've just got a few oscillators, some crazy cross modulation, some stepped random stuff like that. You can get stuff spitting out some amazing things. It's just a really nice, interesting patching technique, I think. That's that. It's just a bit of FM madness to brighten up your day for you there. The E370 really excels in creating some crazy, crazy noises. I hope you enjoyed that. I know it's not for everybody. It's for me, for sure. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take the recordings from this and I'm going to cut them all up and put them in a sample pack and put that sample pack on Bandcamp. I'll also put on Bandcamp the recording of the original track that this that inspired this patch, that this patch came from, basically. You can do whatever you want with them. You can use those samples in any of your recordings. You can cut up the track as well, use that any way you like. It would just be a way to help support the channel, encourage me to do more of these things if you liked it. So yeah, thanks for watching and rest in peace, Paul Schreiber, right? What a guy. I mean, this thing is out of this world and you know, I'm very grateful that he decided, woke up one day and thought, that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, now I've got this incredible thing. So yeah, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Make some noises. Have fun. See you later. Bye.